Well, we certainly know that healthcare professionals on the front lines of the coronavirus pandemic are facing enormous pressure every hour of every day. Their job is necessary. It's making the difference between life and death, and it's incredibly risky for them. It's also emotionally draining. There can be little and no space for release of that emotion. One New York uh, COVID-19 nurse went to social media to illustrate what she goes through. Here's an excerpt of some, some of what she said. I just feel like there's only so much uh, anyone can take. I'm tired of walking into rooms and your patient's dead. Uh, you just walk into a room and there's a dead body there. I just feel like people think just because we're like a healthcare worker that we are somehow immune to this and we're not. It's so stressful. I wish sometimes people would just understand the use of brain. Everyone is trying hard. We're human just like everybody else. We have emotions. The same thing that affects you would affect me. Right now is the time that we should all have compassion for each other and try to at least acknowledge what the other person's going through. Everyone's really concerned about the patients and I understand. I completely understand what... But if your staff is not doing well, then well, who's going to take care of your patients? Well, that nurse is Danelle Schmall, and she joins us now. Thanks so much for, for being with us and, and for everything that you and so many others are doing to take care of, of patients. Um, what, what is it like? I mean, I, I know you and your colleagues are experiencing something that, that people who aren't working in a hospital setting or don't have a loved one in a hospital setting can re even really understand at a time like this. What, what do you... What's it like every day? Um, it's difficult. I, I did. I'm sorry. I didn't know they were going to play that. Like, I didn't know they were going to play the, the clip of that video because I've never watched it. At, oh, I'm from sorry. The day I posted it, and uh, I actually went back on the, the, the morning after uh, doing that. I immediately, I wake up at 4.45. I immediately went to go race that, but it had been shared so many times. I was like, well... If someone if someone can say whatever whatever I said whatever if I if I thought the original's not there so I, so I kept it up I, I so I kept it up on my um, my account I, I never knew it would uh, gain so much attention uh, so so listening to that and listening to that uh, to the voice and just knowing how like what it was in that moment was a lot so but I'm yeah. okay uh, it's difficult it's difficult working. And it's difficult just being in the, in the healthcare field in general. Um, it's like going to war every day, especially with COVID. But um, when you have just normal patients and trauma, you have a patient that's shot 16 times or a 23 year old that, you know, jumps off a bridge and commits suicide, it's, it's difficult. It's, it's, it's daily we, we have stuff we deal with. Yeah, I mean, it seems, you know, for families, often because of, of the, you know, health considerations, they can't really be with their loved one. And, and that's, that adds a whole other layer to, to what families are going through and what patients are going through. Absolutely. I can't imagine being, the day that happened, actually, that's what kind of happened. I, I walked to the room, my patient had expired. And I was like, wow, like, it, he, was, he was by himself, you know? And it's just mm. like, no one like there's there's no one around there was no resuscitation order uh, so there would have been nothing done but normally if i've ever had a patient that was um was was expiring i i would always sit in their room with them um just so they if they didn't have any family just so someone was there yeah it, uh, my mom passed away this this summer and and it I was able to be there at the end and, and it makes a huge difference to, for family members and also obviously for the person who um, you know who's who's breathing their last I think to to feel that one of the things at the end it, it, you you said uh, on on the video it said uh, something I thought was just really important you said we can all make it through this if if we all stick together and, and I think that's such a, an important message especially at a time when so many of us are physically distant from other people. Yeah, yeah, we all we we, do, we all have to stick together. We all have to stick together and, and do our part. Um, that's the only way we're going to make it through through this entire thing, for sure. Well, Danelle, I, I really appreciate you uh, you talking with us and and um, 
I really appreciate all you're doing, and it sounds like a small thing, but um, but thank you.